Catholic nuns in Pennsylvania are resisting plans to build a $3 billion pipeline for gas obtained by fracking through its land by creating a rudimentary chapel along the proposed route and launching a legal challenge, citing religious freedom. The Adorers of the Blood of Christ Order has filed a complaint against the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission FERC, in a bid to keep the pipeline off their land. The nuns' lawyers argue in court papers that a decision by FERC to force them to accommodate the pipeline is antithetical to the deeply held religious beliefs and convictions of the adorers. The adorers, in order of 2,000 nuns across the world, have made protection of the environment central to their mission. The plan for the pipeline goes against everything we believe. In, we believe in the sustenance of all creation, Sister Linda Fisher, 74, told the Washington Post. The 183-mile Atlantic Sunrise Pipeline is designed to supply enough natural gas to meet the daily needs of more than 7 million American homes by connecting producing regions in northeastern Pennsylvania to markets in the mid-Atlantic and southeastern states, its website says. Atlantic. Sunrise Pipeline It is an extension of the Transco Pipeline, which runs more than 10,000 miles from from Texas to New York, and will carry gas extracted from the Marcellus Shale region since fracking was permitted by the state. Williams, the company building the pipeline, wants to pay farm owners to allow it to dig up land, install the line, and return the land to farm use. It has offered compensation for lost crops and regular inspections to ascertain if the pipeline affects agricultural output. About 30 landowners who refused to do a deal with Williams now face being forced to comply by a FERC order. A section of the pipeline is planned to run underneath a strip of land owned by the adorers in West Hempfield Township, Lancaster County, and leased to a local farmer.